Hello everyone, today we will write a program to check if a given number is an Armstrong number. So let's see what an Armstrong number is. So these number here, these are all Armstrong number. So let me tell why they are Armstrong numbers. So if the sum of the cubes of the digits of any number is equal to the number itself then it is Armstrong so let me explain the cubes of the digits so this is 153 so we are taking out each digit 153 and we are cubing it so and adding it up so it will result in 153 itself so 153 1 cube 5 cube plus 3 cube is equal to 153 so similarly all these numbers follow the same criteria and that's why they are Armstrong number let's see 407 so 4 cube plus 0 cube plus 7 cube that will be 64 plus 0 plus 343 so it is equal to 407 so the sum of the cubes of the digits is equal to the original number so these are Armstrong numbers so let's write a program it's very simple so if we have n equal to 153 all we have to do is take one digit we'll have one other variable temp take one digit in temp then we'll cube that number and then add it in another variable let's call it Armstrong so let me go a little bit in depth so in order to take the last digit, we'll use modulus 10. So we'll do temp equal to n mod 10. When we do m n mod 10, that is 153 mod 10. The remainder 3 will be stored in temp. Now temp has 3 so now we have a digit now we have to now we have a digit now we have to cube it so to cube that we'll use math dot power function temp equal to math dot power so in short it's pow now we'll do temp the variable and then power is 3 if you want to square it you have to put 2 so in this case this is cube so we will cube it now we have done this part now we have to add it into some variable so we have a variable here Armstrong we will add in that Armstrong equal to and strong plus temp so now 3 will be added to Armstrong so this will become 3 so next time when you do oh okay now we have to eliminate this digit I will do n equal to n by 10 since n is a integer do, by doing this will be eliminating this digit now n will become n will be 15 now if you do this step again in a while loop now temp equal to n mod 10 n is what 15 so 15 mod 10 will give 5 so temp will become 5 
so math dot power of 10 that is 5 power 3 it will give 125 so now temp will have 125 now in this line Armstrong in Armstrong 3 was added so it will become 3 plus temp is 125 so it will become sorry 3 cube was added here that is 27 so this is 27 plus 125 that will give 152 again we will do n equal to n by 10 now n will become 1 we will go back here 1 mod 10 and we will repeat this process we will exit the loop when n becomes 0 now we have this value we have found the cubes of each digits and then added and we got this number now how we will know if this resultant number is equal to the original number so for that we will use if condition if this and strong is equal equal where is the original number the original number is not here because the original number was n and we modified n by doing this and now n is 0 so what we will do before doing all these steps we should have created one more variable let's say int original equal to n this original value will not be modified anywhere here and it will be having 153 which was the input so now if hamstrong number is equal to original then we will print we will print what it is hamstrong else not Armstrong okay let's write the program for this so what are the variables we need we need n which will be having the number which we have to check we need a temporary variable in which we will store each digits we need a a variable called Armstrong in which we will store all the addition of each digits which will be initially zero because we are going to add numbers into it and then we will have another variable original and we will store n into it okay now I'll put all this into a code so we will have while loop n is greater than 0 we have to remove a digit so temp equal to n modulus 10 we got the last digit now we will cube that number math dot pow temp comma 3 now we have to store this into Armstrong now we have to eliminate the last digit in n after this while loop is completed we will have Armstrong with some value we have to check if this value which we have produced after adding the cubes of the digits of the number is equal to the original number so if Armstrong then we print
else we will print not Armstrong. If you learned something from this video, please give a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.